Hello, and welcome to a Rosé and Gin playthrough of Fallout 4. Um, I'm here, and I'm here with my companion as well. Hello. Um, uh, he will be playing, um, ostensibly, uh, because I have played this game quite a lot, but he is, an, he is a virgin to Fallout. Um, so what I've done is, I've set him up a character, played through the first five minutes of the game, and got him to the point where he's heading on down the hill to Concord, I do believe. Um, and we're just going to let him play from here. Uh, if you, I haven't actually shown you our, our character, our, our lady who is Puggles. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you hit this button and you spin the camera around if we press it again. No, you have to hold it and then spin it around. Uh, then you can see Puggles for the first time. Um, God, what have you done? Uh, my interpretation of Puggles is that at the, in the beginning scene, I don't know if you remember it because I've showed you it before, um, you, you go down on that vault 111 platform, um, but you see the bomb go off and the, the shockwave hits. Oh my god! And then what they do is they instantly freeze you. Defrost you, freeze you again, then defrost you again. Um, I'm gonna say that does a lot of damage to a skin. Like, even the bomb alone probably would have done it. Um, so. I love that the Joker and the Scarecrow had a baby. Yes, yes, you, that is a perfect metaphor. Um, and I, I've just put some random clothes on her, um, whatever there was. Some um, sunglasses, got to protect herself. Yep. Yeah. Our character will. This, so I'm going to show you the perk chart. These are our skills. Um, mm -hmm. So we've gone full strength, no, right. one perception, endurance, no charisma, no intelligence, no agility, <laughs> um, but a lot of luck. So you're a, a lucky, strong person, basically, is what we're going for nice. with this character, which means that you'll be using massive guns like miniguns. Okay. Rocket launchers. Um, you will be using melee weapons or fist weapons, which are like knuckle dusters. Okay. Um, and at the moment, your job is to head towards the quest objective and see what's going on. Um, and then just take it from there, really. Okay. Um, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I'll let you do all the moral decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am here more as a kind of fairy godmother to help out if something is... Not explained very well. <laughs> very good mother made me ugly. Nice. Yep. Okay, <laughs> okay so you've, you've instantly leveled up because you wandered into Concord. Um, I'm that good. So I don't know if you want to level up. I'll show you how to do it now so we know for future reference. Go for it. Um, so if you hit your inventory again, so same as some Skyrim oh. um, circle, uh, triangle, because it's got a little level up thing there. And what you can do is you can put one point either into any of the top stats, so mm -hmm. that adds one onto your overall stats, or you can go down to the perks underneath. Right. Um, and the number of stars you have is the levels of things that you can put your stars into. Um, mm -hmm. And all of them will be perks, so kind of like Skyrim again. Um, you can do pretty much um, most of these from the start, really, if you, um, if you have enough points in that ability so yeah. um our luck we could have the level 10 luck skill right now if we wanted but we could only do the first level of it right but it's when you get to these next levels so if you hit r1 mm -hmm. it shows you underneath it say level five you have to get to level five before you can get that um but other okay. than that the requirements are basically you have a point to spend and you have enough stars okay so just go from there that it's your character now so well, you know how i like to play either, so. oh you get it okay so <laughs> you know. yeah that's fine no because um, if, you, if you're going to be a sneaky, um, you're going to have to build up that agility quite a lot. That's but fine. with the strength level that you've got, melee weapons like Skyrim again um, are really good damage-wise when you're doing sneak because you, it's a lot difficult, more difficult to get up to someone. Okay. Um, close enough to hit them with a melee weapon than it is a pistol or something. So our weapons here are, we have uh, Molotovs, frag grenades... A couple of pistols, because in, like in Skyrim, you'll pick up everything. Um, <laughs> pipe pistols, which aren't as good, but everyone has them, and the ammo's more available. Um, a bolt-action rifle, you've only got five for. And a tire iron, which is going to be probably... That and the shotgun are probably going to be the best ones for you at the moment. Okay. Um, the shotgun is going to run out of ammo. Um, so if you need a gun, 10 millimeter pistol or a pipe pistol are the ones you want to go for. To start okay, with. then. So, yeah, and that's your dog. Um... He has no name. Yeah, he's dog. Uh, I don't know if you can actually rename him. I haven't actually ever thought to do it. Um, so yeah, so at the bottom you can see like Skyrim, you've got a compass. Um, yeah. Skyrim one's on top um, and it, it gives you like a little distance thing and it has a door. So it's, again, like Skyrim, that means yeah. it's in another place. Um, so you have raiders. Um, so now you're in it, in the thick of it. <laughs> 
Um, there are hotkeys with the arrows I've set up, um, but you can get a look at those out of combat. Um, if at any point you think this is too easy, of course, you can turn the difficulty I'm fine with easy, that's fine. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, and I think... Fuck it out. <laughs> no mercy whatsoever. <laughs> oh yeah, and your, your dog can bite people as well, which is kind of handy. Um, so there's a guy talking to you um, above the door mm -hmm. in front of you. Oh, where he should be. Oh, he's all, he's way at the top. But he's That's basically cool. saying, we're in trouble. Could you help us? Um, and he's saying that you can pick up a weapon that's outside the front door. Right. Um, and that it has a quest marker. And that is a short laser musket. Those are quite fun guns, really. Um, and those little yellow pods are the ammo for it, the, the fusion cells. Um, he's got a couple on him as well, which is probably useful. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to head inside there, basically. More looting to do first. You know More looting? Oh yeah. <laughs> so you already know. Bottle caps, currency. It's yeah. easy enough. Um, uh, with the armour, the one that you're wearing at the moment is a suit. Um, that is sort of like clothing, and mm -hmm. you can't wear armour bits over the top. However, I think I've got in um, the apparel section, which is one over to the right, um, oh. just with the yeah, just with the arrows. Uh, if you look down there, there are long johns. Um, and things like uh, Volt 111 jumpsuit, which I think might be the bottom because it's a V. Um, they can go underneath bits of armour, which are these Raider left legs, Raider right arms, and you'll get ones that are um, leather mm. arms and legs. Um, and those are a helmet, a chest piece, one arm, one leg, um, and then the other side, one arm, one leg. Okay. And you can mix and match those to suit your needs. Um, okay. Other than that, you get sets that are kind of over the top. So you can't add different bits of armour, they're just all of your body all in one go, maybe not the head sometimes. Um, usually, to start off with, they're more powerful mm -hmm. um, than the individual bits. But as the game goes on, you you, you basically don't want them because they're a load of arse. Okay. <laughs> um, I only keep some around because they give you uh, stat bonuses. So that suit that you're wearing gave you more charisma, I think. Right. Um, same with things like hats and stuff, though you should give you plus ones like endurance or perception or something, which is... Um, it's quite useful when you've done what I've done with this character and you've put all the points basically in three stats and not done any of the others. Yeah. So you're like really bad at some, most of it, to be fair. Um, and really good at other things, but you can kind of help yourself out. Wow, okay. That is... <laughs> now I'm literally the scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, you, you're harrowing. That's fine. Yeah, I think I think we'd want to cover our face, to be fair, if we look like puggles, because <laughs> it's harsh. not a fun time. There's someone somewhere very offended right now. Somewhere <laughs> there is. <laughs> Inner beauty is the true beauty here that we need to look for in Puggles. <laughs> oh god, your inventory is already filling up. Luckily, with strength, you get extra carry space, so it's going to be quite difficult for us to mess this up. Yeah. Um, so that's all good. Cool. Museum of Freedom. And God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> You'll quickly get this kind of vibe through this game because um, of course it's kind of it's not on a history um, but I think it well, breaks it off sort of, of um, a couple of years ago I think is where the alternate history breaks apart from us um, so they've got things like the American Revolution and stuff still in there right. so there are going to be some historical things that you notice um, including like landmarks and stuff as well um, so that's uh, an energy weapon your short laser musket mm -hmm. um, and you have to crank it every time you want to use it but you can crank it twice, okay. and it'll only ever shoot one bullet. So what you can do is you can crank it twice and get two shots worth of damage mm. in one go. Okay. Um, so that's sort of the option. But you do remember to crank. It's not automatic. It won't do it for you. So in a sort of a, a brushed situation, it's not the best. Okay. Okay. That seems fine. No. Okay, so yeah, I think... Um, Something that is different with lockpicking on here as well from Skyrim. I'm, I'm using Skyrim as an example a lot here because I know you're a pro at it. Um, <laughs> but you can't pick certain level locks. Um, no. So with Skyrim, you can see a master lock and just kind of man it out and try and get through it regardless of your skill. Um, in this, um, you need a certain level perk to actually even be able to access the lock. Uh, you're, you're really hurt. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine, mate. Okay, it's not okay. Fine. so press inventory and then go to 
aid, which is next one over from apparel. Yeah, and then you want Stimpak. Um, Stimpaks are great. Uh, they're quick ways of healing up. Um, so if you just use two, uh, so it shows you oh, how okay. much you'll heal. Um, I've got them hot keyed to down, mm-hmm. which is what they do for you, and that's, it's quite useful. Other than that, things like food will heal you quite a bit. Um, so yeah, you want to just shoot the fuck out of her, basically, because she's got a, a shotgun that will fuck your shit up, like she's doing. <laughs> oh no, your dog got her. Cool. So grab her shotgun shells as well, I'd say, um, and her stim pack, um, and apparently everything else. <laughs> I had to hold everything. So yeah, so your your options are. I really think for the moment, um, your character is going to have to be someone who rushes people with that tire iron mm. because it's probably going to be the best way of doing it. You've got some powerful things um, like a shotgun and stuff, but the ammo is limited for it. So the more we use the melee weapon to start off with, the easier it's going to be further down the line. Um, it's not on survival mode, thank God. Um, <laughs> but on survival mode, it's a real pain um, because you end up having to not carry ammo around because it has weight. Right. Um, so what happens is you end up just picking one gun and just sticking with the ammo for that. Um, I'm not sure what that noise is in the background. <laughs> the like little bell. Can yeah. you hear that? It keeps winding up. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's thoroughly annoying, however. <laughs> Okay, so you're choosing all these different things. Um, the little damage things yeah. there that it says. So damage resistance. Shields are bullet and physical damage. Um, the little radiation is radiation damage, which right. if you get near radioactive waste, it's going to hurt you. Yeah. Um, and there's another one, which is like a little lightning bolt. Yeah, so you see that there. Yeah. Um, that's energy resistance, which okay. are things like your laser musket. Yeah. Um, so that it's kind of what you need to weigh up because okay. um, it, it depends sometimes what you're doing for the moment, what armor you want to wear. Because yeah. if you're going against a load of people that use laser weapons, you're going to want uh, leather stuff because that's pretty good against yeah. uh, laser stuff. I don't know why leather is good against laser weapons. Um, <laughs> Someone decided it was. But apparently it is. I would have thought the metal things would have been better because they reflect like light quite well. So, you know. Ooh, okay, so that that's the um, that's your guy helping out. Um, cool. So have you figured out what run is? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's just like kind of battlefield and stuff. So your health is low. So if you hit down the arrows, you'll quickly and then an X, uh, you'll quickly just shove that in there, um, and you're better now for Beautiful some reason. Beautiful phrasing. Um, on this as well, if you drink alcohol and stuff, you get like little bonuses to strength usually and endurance. Right. So it kind of makes you like drunk strength, like you can. Fucking punch whatever you want, basically. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to reload that. No, oh, no. He's gone. That's fine. Um, so if you... Yeah. There you go. What the fuck is that? Ah, there's a gun there. Um, <laughs> uh, you can bash as well, um, which is R1. Um, it's not very powerful, but if someone's near death and you run out of ammo with something like your shotgun, yeah. um, if you hit bash, if they're on low enough health, it does like a little kill animation, so it like, kind of quickly kills them for you. Okay. Um, again, your health is quite low. Um, I don't know what difficulty I've got this set on. I thought it was quite easy because of the way you're wrecking those raiders, but from the damage they're doing to you, I'm not even sure anymore. Sometimes I do play on survival, but other times I'll play sort of a normal, mm. normal or hard. Maybe it's set to hard by the look of it. Okay, so Mentas Psycho mm-hmm. are drugs. Um, and you can become addicted to drugs if you use them, Ooh. but they will give you quite good bonuses for a little while. Okay. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, so L1. Okay, so that's Vats. Um, what you can do is you can choose to shoot him in the head. So if you press shoot a uh, second time as well, and then press... There you go. I forgot to tell you about Vats. Uh, Vats is useful. <laughs> well done. Uh, you could use it quite far off as well, but your the little percentages of actually hitting someone get lower. Yeah. Um, so you have to weigh it up. And things like a shotgun will be worse for shooting far away as well, obviously. But I think you can still... You will hit them, maybe. But it's not going to be any winner as good as it could be. What are we going for? Oh, actually, rifle, okay. Fuck, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do him. Well, okay. Or not. I mean, yeah, you have to shoot him, but... Yeah, to the right. There you go. See? Bam. Okay, so... Those were his head chunks. Um, so, Beautiful. I think he's dead. Uh, so, what you've got to do is you've got to get up to that little that little thing. So, you just got to figure out your way out there. Hmm. Mmm, indeed. Am I not doing fuck all um, in that fight? Uh, I think they're somewhere behind you. Doggo! Bastard. Find them. Your dog's quite useful sometimes. <laughs> and I say that with a, with a... Oh, so if you use L1 in these sort of situations, it can really help you out. Um, or just no, just do that, yeah. Right, you have ammo for that gun, so you're going to have to swap. Um, oh, yeah. Or oh, tire iron. Oh, he's, he's... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I was going to say, he snuck out away. Uh, two stim packs, that's always good. Um, what have you just picked up? Ah, yeah, that's high iron. Um, so there are a couple of bodies around. Obviously, there's the guy you killed in there. Um, he's He was just a shit guy, basically. He was just like a kind of a, a berserk, I guess. He ran at you with a, a tire iron. Ammo, salt gas mask. That thing underneath him, that duffel bag, um, they're usually quite good for loot in these kind of things, these mm. kind of places. Uh, Molotov cocktails, obviously, are grenades. Um, they're quite fun. Um, I don't know if I've got them equipped. Um, so if you see them there, if you just equip a Molotov, um, come out of your inventory for me, look across the other side of the room and hold down R1, and then let go. And that's how you throw grenades. Damn, okay. um, you have to hold it down, because if you just press it, it's bash. Um, right. I don't know what bash is with a, a melee weapon, but as I said with the gun, it's kind of like you hit the grenade. With a gun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be unfortunate, <laughs> especially with a Molotov. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Oh my God, it's getting more quickly close. <laughs> I mean, that might have been your fault, to be fair. <laughs> he's, he's so happy. So yeah, so you get these little these little options. Uh, mm. They're normally all kind of roughly the same, I have to say, which is a bit depressing. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm You're terrifying. <laughs> You're actually terrifying. <laughs> You're worse than the Raiders that were trying to kill them, I think. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. Huh. And I did, but ah, things ain't. fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. Mm -hmm. Dramatic, eh? Just a little bit. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. You alright? Listen. Look at me. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, all you can see is the edges of the gas mask. Um, but, oh my god, you are terrifying. There's, uh, there's no easy way around it, is there? Find a missing person. We used to have a few good trackers in this group. Not many now. Hey. A month ago, there were 20 of them. Who's that? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Just thought you wanted to in. That was a really inappropriate point to say that as well. There ain't much of us left. Hey. <laughs> What's he doing? Wow. Well, the world is it's, it's cruel world, it's I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you think hey. I don't know that? She says it again. <laughs> the things I've seen. The things I've done. Seen some things, man. Oh my god, yeah. Things I've done. That's the bit that's... <laughs> like, the things I've seen is a normal thing for people, like, in the right. army and, like, soldiers and stuff to say. But the things I've done is the worrying line, isn't it? Where it's like, I did something that I should not have done. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell it. Hey! found the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well... Looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet. Oh, look. I'm, I'm seriously Every doubting he said Sturgis Tudor repeatedly. Yeah, I was going to say, the, all this the time. subtitles are really, really Gary. keeping up here. Oh, Sturgis Tudor. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Sturgis Tudor. Protection with an Sturgis is still the same. <laughs> you said something as well. Soon. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. Oh. You dig? A. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> There's no A option. Huh. Could work. It'll work. Provided we can Sturgis, reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. 
probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. Why is the subtitle so bad? <laughs> um, as well, I didn't mention this, but if you mm. kind of move your analog sticks away, you can just walk away at this point in oh, conversation. Okay. Um, it's, it doesn't really tell you that, but you can if you want. Mic drop. The answer's no. I'm out. Whoa. Just like that. 